What's going on my friend? Danny here from youngat30.com and in this video I'm going to talk about how we can stay young with mitochondrial biogenesis, one of my favourite subjects. So first of all let me say that if we want to stay young we want to take care of the organs of our body. We want to make sure they're healthy and in the best possible condition that they can be. So everything from our heart to our liver to our kidneys to our brain, we want to make sure they're in tip-top condition. Why? Because these organs are responsible for the core functions of our body and we need these core functions to live in the best possible way with the optimal health. Now when our organs struggle to do these core functions that's when we start to have problems. We start to get disease and we age more rapidly. So we need to make sure that our organs are in tip-top condition and if we do that there's no reason why 10, 20, 30 years down the line we can't experience the same levels of health and vitality that we enjoy today. So let's keep our organs healthy. So how do we do that? Well we take it down a level and we want to make sure that all the cells that make up those organs are also in the best possible condition but not only that we want to make sure they're also producing all the energy that is required for these to power these organs to do these core processes. Now how do we do that? Well again we take it down a level and we want to make sure that all the mitochondria that live with inside these cells, that live inside our cells, are also in the best possible condition that they can be. Now mitochondria are so critical when it comes to health. What are mitochondria? Now basically they're tiny little organelles that live inside our cells, they form part of the structure of our cells and these organelles or mitochondria are responsible for creating the energy of our bodies and this energy is called adenosine triphosphate or ATP and the energy is used from everything from blinking to thinking and all those core functions that our organs run, they need energy, they need ATP. So these mitochondria live in all the cells of our bodies, of all our organs. The number varies, some cells will have a hundred, some will have up to a hundred thousand. In fact, the heart actually contains more mitochondria than any other organ in the body and you can imagine why. The heart works extremely hard, it's pumping every second of every day, it never takes a break, so it requires a tremendous amount of energy and it's packed with mitochondria. So mitochondria are, I can't stress enough how critical mitochondria are for our health. Um, they're the cornerstone, they're the key. Now taking care of your mitochondria is probably one of the best things you can do to ensure longevity and ensure your health um, going forward. So how do we take care of our mitochondria? Well what we want to do is get rid of the old mitochondria and we want to bring in new mitochondria and that process is called mitochondrial biogenesis, the title of this video. Now we do this naturally, we do a mitochondrial biogenesis happens every day but the bad news is that as we get older our ability to do this diminishes and not only this, our existing mitochondria get damaged every day with time so the stresses of everyday living will damage mitochondria so that's why we want to get rid of these old damaged mitochondria and bring in new fresh healthy mitochondria through mitochondrial biogenesis but as I say the bad news is we, we lose the ability to do this as we get older now the good news is we can kind of cheat. Now how do we do this? Well it turns out we all have a gene called PGC1-alpha, my favourite longevity gene and this gene we can actually activate whenever we want to to induce mitochondrial biogenesis. So how do we activate PGC1-alpha? Well it's actually done through stressing the body just enough to produce a net benefit and this is called hormesis. Now hormesis could be described as receiving a, uh, a benefit of any agent or process in a small dose that would normally actually cause us harm, be toxic or even lethal if we have it in higher doses. Now a good example of this is exercise. When we exercise we stress the body, we actually damage the body a little bit. Because we're doing it in small amounts we actually get a net benefit. But if we were to exercise every hour of every day for days on end we would just die, we couldn't take that level of chronic stress. So we want to keep the dose down to the right amount, keep it small and that is called hormesis where we get a net benefit. So we can trigger 
PGC1 alpha to induce mitochondrial biogenesis through hormesis. Now I'm going to talk about five ways that you can induce hormesis. Now I've already talked about the first way and that is through exercise. So a great method of exercise to trigger PGC1 alpha is actually high intensity interval training. Lifting weights is another great way as well. So that's method number one, exercising. Method number two is cold stress. Now, there are many ways we can expose ourselves to cold stress. We can go for a walk on a winter day in our shorts and t-shirt. We can jump into a cold lake. We can go into a cryogenic therapy chamber. Um, the easiest way that I find to induce hormesis is just to jump into a cold shower. And you don't even have to be in the shower very long. One minute will be enough to induce hormesis and trigger PGT1 alpha to induce mitochondrial biogenesis. So that's method two, cold stress. Ne method three is a flip side, and that is heat stress. And again, the easiest way to receive heat stress is through a sauna. Just jump into a sauna. Now, a couple of tips when you go into a sauna. Number one, you wanna make sure you're in the hottest area of the sauna. So you wanna make sure you're on the, the high level, the high platform. Obviously, hot air rises, so you wanna make sure you're getting as much heat as possible in your sauna session. And you wanna keep your sauna session um, to at least uh, 20 to 25 minutes to receive enough heat to induce or trigger PGC1 alpha and induce mitochondrial biogenesis. So that's method number three, heat stress. Method number four is intermittent fasting. Now fasting is basically going out without food and intermittent fasting is where you do it for on kind of short bursts. So you want to restrict your calorie intake or your feeding time to a certain limited number of hours in the day. Now a good guideline is try and eat your food within an eight hour window and then go 16 hours with just water and that will be enough to qualify as intermittent fasting and that will trigger PGC1 alpha and induce mitochondrial biogenesis. So that's method number four, it's intermittent fasting. Now method number five is with supplements and the supplement I'm gonna talk about is something called resveratrol. Now resveratrol has also um, been referred to as an exercise mimicking supplement because many of the pathways that are activated when we exercise are also activated when we take resveratrol and PGC1 alpha is just one of them. So that's method number five, supplements like like resveratrol. So if you do these four, five methods of hormesis, you will trigger PGC1 alpha and you will induce mitochondrial biogenesis and that will take care of our organs and keep us young. So let's recap, we covered quite a lot there. In order to stay young, we want to make sure our organs are in the best possible condition, they're in tip-top condition, so that they can kind of drive all the core functions of our body, and if these functions aren't working properly, then that starts to, um, it will lead to disease, it will lead to um, rapid aging. So to do that, we want to take care of the cells of our organs, and to do that, we want to take care of the mitochondria of our cells, and to do that, we want to get rid of old damaged mitochondria and bring in new mitochondria mitochondria and that process is called mitochondrial biogenesis. Now we can actually trigger mitochondrial biogenesis whenever we want to and that's through activating the gene PGC1 alpha. How do we activate PGC1 alpha? Well we need to stress the body and that is called hormesis. And the five ways to do this, number one, exercise, number two, cold stress, number three, heat stress, number four, intermittent fasting, and number five, um, supplements like resveratrol. So that's it guys, that is mitochondrial biogenesis and how to stay young. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button. Until the next video, have a great day.